so what are the, what are the dangers could, that could stop that from happening? Uh, there are several, unfortunately. Uh, one is Europe, which we've been flirting in and out of crisis all the time. Uh, the Europeans, I think, are not uh, grasping their problem and dealing with it. They could deal with it. Um, they have the economic resources to do so, and uh, they, don't, they don't sort of want to. They're stuck, many of them, in the kind of German austerity uh, mode. Um, and I would say that, that uh, that's unfortunate. We need to see them really uh, do something. By the way, the United States is not helping either. Uh, because the IMF, <coughs> excuse me, has to be an important part of the solution. And uh, we are saying, you know, no American money is going to bail out Europe, uh, which means that not only is, is that limiting the funds available to the IMF to solve Europe's problems, but it's also discouraging China and other countries that might help. So a, th a threat to the United States is in uh, Europe. The next threat, of course, is in, in uh, you know, a weak global economy. If if we start uh, importing a lot as our economy grows, but we can't export, uh, the dollar's too high, demand overseas is, is weak, then that's going to retard our, our recovery. I think that's a significant danger um, for our recovery going forwards, is that we start seeing exploding trade deficits again, as we, as we have in the past. And then finally, as we all know, oil prices are a problem. Oil prices have induced recessions in the United States and certainly could do so again. If the Strait of Hormuz were blocked and we saw oil at $200 a barrel, we'd be back right into recession again. So my answer to your question is, you know, typical economists on the one hand, on the other hand, I think the basics are in place for the U.S. to, recovery, to recover, but there are significant uh, risks, most of them uh, outside the United States.